my name is Jesse from Trash Panda, and I'm currently making a fully recycled disc. Now, I've given a glimpse to this in some of my previous videos, but I want to be super clear about it today. There is a huge problem when it comes to plastic pollution, and personally, it's a problem I no longer can ignore. There are five plastic-filled gyres in the world's oceans, which are basically large floating islands of plastic. Somewhere around 10% of all plastic actually gets recycled, and if you play disc golf, you've seen disc golf courses littered with plastic. And no matter where you stand on the spectrum with the issue, the reality is there are valuable materials that are ending up in landfills and oceans, but still have more life in them. And I can't even begin to make this up, but literally while I'm filming this, a piece of plastic flew into my garage from the street. On this journey, I've had a huge learning curve, and many of you have even asked the same questions, like what even is plastic? What kinds of plastics are there? And what kind of plastic are you gonna use in the recycled disc? So I thought I'd go ahead and share what I've learned with you. My first Q&A, if you will. To be clear, I'm still learning. So if you have further insight or questions, feel free to add them in the comments below. What is plastic is a question that I'm gonna leave for a scientist to answer. I've gone ahead and linked some of my favorite videos below that have taught me on this whole subject. That being said, for my purposes, the answer is pretty simple. Previously used plastic may be the most readily available and cheap material that exists. Now this is where things get a little bit more complicated, but if you hang in there with me, I promise it'll make sense. First, there are two major types of plastics, thermosets and thermoplastics. Thermosets are unable to be recycled. Once they're created, they can't be melted down again. For my makers out there, epoxy, silicone, and polyurethane are typical examples. Other common examples include bowling balls, toilet seats, and river tables. If you're a woodworker, that was a really funny joke. Just trust me. Second, thermoplastics are probably what you'd be more familiar with because they make up 80% of all plastics globally. There are seven main types of thermoplastics, which can be identified by their name and number, typically found on the bottom of plastic products. When heated, they become soft and liquid, and when cooled, they become hard. Common examples include plastic bottles, straws, and literally every Chick-fil-A container. For my purposes, I'm obviously using thermoplastics, and there's another really interesting thing about thermoplastics. They all melt at different temperatures. This means that the second you start blending them together, the harder it becomes to recycle them, which is why most common plastics are made out of one type of plastic. My goal is to keep each plastic to its type and see how it works. The coolest part about this is that if I keep the plastics to their types, one day, those discs that I make can be recycled again. That's actually super rad. Will it make the best discs on the market? Maybe, probably not. But fighting against the never ending growth of plastic pollution makes it unbelievably worth it. So there you go. That's my first q and I guess. If you liked it, let me know. Don't forget to subscribe to support the channel, add further insights or questions in the comments below, and we'll see you next time.